Hello YouTube and welcome to the Winfield 350 from Daytona, the Hooters Nationwide Series. I'm Gordon Fantano and I'll be bringing you all the action this season. On the poll today is Bob Johansson, starring alongside Dylan Young. Row 2 has Amanda Shelley and Drew Austin. Row 3, William Duncan and Joe Davis. Row 4 is Theo Stiegel and Tom Shelley. And row 5, Zach Buchanan and Jake Cole. And we'll just take you through the rest of the field. And here's your command. Drivers, start your engines! Command has been given. Field ready to roll up. If you didn't watch yesterday, Bob Johansson trying to go two for two this weekend. He starts on the pole and he won the truck race yesterday. Looks like field rolled off just fine. Yes, I did. Let's get you to your green flag. Pace car will be pulling off momentarily. <coughs> there he goes. Field under control of Bob Johansson in car 24. And the green flag is out. We're underway for the Hooters Nationwide Series. So far we've seen zero cautions this race weekend. Could today be the first? See a lot of those that were in the draw up here in the front. So, wow. Good qualifying cars. Although they could not run by in the pack, apparently. That, see if that becomes a key issue. Also, it's the biggest field that they've had on the track so far for the Nationwide Series. Here comes Drew Austin to the inside. Three wide towards the middle of the pack. So Drew Austin takes the lead. Theo Stiegel close behind. Here comes Stiegel now. Didn't talk about him in the dual race, but he was able to advance. Three wide, McNamara on the top side with, I believe, the other two, the two uh, Dollar General cars, the 18 and the 20. Jake Cole now to the front. Definitely not working like the truck race did. A lot of passing here early on in this race. Kenny Bale now going for the lead. Bob... Bob Johansson, there's a big pack of cars on the outside line. At least three cars right there. Drew Austin, Bob Johansson, and Amanda Shelley. Now here comes Davis in the Camaro to the inside. Give that one to Bale. Whoa, and Navarro forces the issue three wide. There's three by three by three by three all the way through the pack right now. Separated by just two seconds right now from first to last. TJ Williams goes to the inside and Gornfang goes even lower three wide into turn number three for the lead. And there's Jake Coles in the wall, among others. Amanda Shelley, Daniel Day. Or no, it's Brennan Patterson in the 22. No caution, Gorn fan leads. Brad Johnson. And then it's Toby Jason underneath Makoto Aguchi. Jake Cole falling backwards now. No momentum. He's getting in the line. We'll see if they can catch back up. And that is a group led by Maria Kulaya, then Kyle Thomas, Jake Cole, Bob Johansson, PJ Williams, John McNamara, and Drew Austin. Austin Ogo, Jeff James, Trevor Meacham, Daniel Day, Brent, Dustin Griffiths. And you can see them as they go through the back, including Charles Samper. 
What you want to do is finish 30th or above, because if you finish 30th or above, you will not be a Gorgo Homer next week at Boston. Here's Toby Jason. We've talked about him, how he's running in third spot now. Warren Cherry, the Morgan Shepard car, who barely made it into the field uh, through the duel. Jason quickly gets back in behind and onto the inside line. Cherry going for second. Sosnowski going for fourth. James Qualls is up here. James Henry. There's three wide right around where Qualls is at. Chris Washer, someone, and then it's one of the Dollar General cars, so it's either the 20 or the 18, and then it was uh, Jose Navarro up there as well. Warren Cherry going for the race lead underneath Gordon Fan. Oh, someone's blown up. That's the 33. Elijah Workman blows up right in the middle of the pack. Oh, they're wrecking. They're wrecking. And that hurts. Oh, there goes the two. Charles Sanford's around. And we have our first caution of the day. First caution of the weekend, too. Warren Cherry's going to try and lead the field back. And, man, that blow-up happened right around the 10th position. So Warren Cherry's going to lead in the dodge. Then it's Tom Gerard, James Qualls, Jake Davis, and Kyle Sosnowski, the top five. Samuel Logo have damage on the 60 car? Charles Sanford probably has damage on the right side of that ar armor hungry man Chevrolet. This caution comes out here on lap seven. Let's see. Uh, no, I we'll just take you to pit stops. So we'll take a short break. If they pit, we'll bring you right back. Seven laps or six laps complete here in the Winfield 350. And we're back. We'll get the restart here with 10 laps complete. Only Elijah Workman has retired and there's a header issue on that car. We'll go through as much of the field as we can. Warren Cherry leads. Tom Gerard second. James Qualls third. Jake Davis fourth. Kyle Sosnowski in fifth. Maria Kulaya in sixth. Gorn Fan seventh. Kyle Thomas eighth. James Henry in ninth. Toby Jason tenth. The Ostigal, Brad Johnson, Makoto Aguchi, Zach Buchanan, Angel Navarro, Kenny Bale, William Duncan, Tom Shelley, PJ Williams, and Dylan Young, the top 20. <coughs> Austin Ogo, Joe Davis, Jeff James, John McNamara, TJ Williams, Drew Austin, Trevor Meacham, Amanda Shelley, Andrea Erickson, and Bob Johansson, the top 30. Dustin Griffiths, Brendan Patterson, Daniel Day, Jake Cole, Jeffrey Buckeye, James Shelley, Samuel Logo, Chris Washer, Kyle Austin, Jose Navarro, and Charles Sanford. The 41 car is still on the track. As the field comes out, turn number four, pace car will pull off here momentarily. And the field will be in the control of the Racing for Jesus Dodge Challenger of Warren Cherry. There you see pace car pulling off. Ten laps to complete at the stripe. Green flag is out. Be careful, Tom. You don't want to pass below the below him on that on the restart there. James Qual is going to have to try and fight his way back in the line. He's going to be able to do it in front of Jake Davis. Get underneath Tom Gerard as they go down into turn number one. And Tom Gerard's going to get stuck on the high side as well as Kyle Sosnowski and Maria Kulaya. See if the two cars off the pace at all. No, it doesn't look like it. But a tough break that he had to end up hitting that uh, 33 car. Now James Qualls is on the top side. It's Jake Davis underneath him. <coughs> now Jake's going to pull low on Warren Cherry. Gordon Fan goes with him. Kyle Thomas... Looks like he's going to get put up to the high side by James Henry. Here comes Gordon Fan. He wants to lead for the second time here today. 
Angel Navarro is hanging on as this lead group has broken away a little bit. Kyle Thomas and Warren Cherry get put up onto the third line there as they come off of turn number two. Gorn fan with a good one car length advantage over Toby Jason in the battle for second here. Looks like the field's going to be a little bit more spread out over this run than earlier. Maybe just a little bit. Gorn fan with a strong car here today. He has been able to pull out in front of these guys. But he's got a one car length advantage and that can be uh, trouble for him as they come down the back straightaway. As Zach Buchanan goes underneath Theo Stiegel for second. <coughs> now Maria Kulaya puts it underneath for second spot. Underneath the number 53 Ford Mustang. Now it looks like Brad Johnson not going to put it underneath yet, but I think Maria is going to be able to get a run here and go underneath the 19 car. Yes, she will. And she's underneath Gordon Fan. Now Angel Navarro showing his way up to the front. PJ Williams followed by Dylan Young. And Jeff James, the teammate to the 31 car. Now new leader Maria Kulaya. Well, as they go down the back straightaway, not clear yet. In fact, actually not even leading. Here comes... Whoa! Angel Navarro in the wall. As well as the 71. Oh, William Dung was on the yellow line there. Saw the 71 in the wall as well. Whoa! One cherry look out. This is not going to end well. There they go. Saw that coming. Oh, and James Henry runs into it. There's William Duncan, James Henry, and Angel Navarro. I uh, can't tell if Kyle's got any damage there on the 32 car. PJ Williams in the wall on the 31. Gonna lose a ton of spots here as they come back to the caution flag. Battle between Chris Washer and Amanda Shelley. That's gonna be a close one. Chris Washer by Hood. We'll take you back. Whoa! Gordon fans around and Toby Jason upside down. Well, we'll definitely have some something to show you here for this one. Wow. A lot happened underneath this caution. Toby's got to be like, what on earth? I was under the caution flag. Why did I just get turned? Same for Gordon fan here. Well, now he's getting blocked by Johansson. Well, this should be interesting. Look out, boys! He's going right up to the back bumper of the nine. Uh, calmer heads will prevail here. And we'll go take you to see what happened, I think. Actually, we'll stay here, see if they pit. And we'll take you to see what happened. Drew Austin on pit road, huh? Oh, well, let's go take you to see what happened. We'll be right back. And we're back to the Winfield 350 here from Daytona. This is where it really started was through turns three and four when Angel Navarro gets up into the wall. You see James Henry up there as well. And everyone's having to try and do evasive action here to avoid him. And 
and then something happens between the 12 and the 89. 12 goes onto the apron. Gets into the 89. And he's way down here. William trying to work it out. Comes up. Nowhere for Kyle Sosnowski to go. Angel Navarro gets collected. Now along comes James Henry. Oh my! Whoa. Let's go frame by frame and see how fast he's hitting him at. 148 right in behind the door. What happened to the 9? So he races with the 43 back to the line. <coughs> and the 43 is going to come low, gets into him, and then around they go. And now upside down for the 9. There's the 5 being turned into this. 24's in it. And Drew's going to get. Duck, I think. Either way, he gets magically teleported back to Pit Road. There it goes. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we'll take you back to the Green Flag. You're watching the Winfield 350 from Daytona. And we're back to the live action here from Daytona. Drew Austin did not fall out of the race, but he is uh, tragically one lap down. The leaders are. No one pit, so here's your rundown. Maria Kulaya in first. Dylan Young falls in second. John McNamara, then Joe Davis, Tom Gerard, TJ Williams, Austin Ogo, Gordon Fan, Andrea Erickson, and Brad Johnson, the top ten. We're hearing no action for <coughs> um, the 43 card, but they will be talking with him after the race. Toby Jason is in 11th. Jeff James, Makoto Aguchi, Zach Buchanan, Kyle Thomas, James Qualls, Theo Stiegel, Bob Johansson, Warren Cherry, and Samuel Oga, the top 20. Tom Shelley, PJ Williams, Chris Washer, Amanda Shelley, Trevor Meacham, Dustin Griffiths, Jeffrey Buckeye, Daniel Day, Charles Sanford, Kyle Austin, Jake Cole, James Shelley, Jose Navarro, Kyle Sosnowski, Kenny Bale, Brendan Patterson, Joe David, or Jake Davis, William Duncan, Angel Navarro, and James Henry. The 40 cars on the lead lap drew Austin in 41st. So as we get ready to go green, no pit stops so far. We'll be getting 11 to go when we get to stripe. I don't think these guys will have to pit. They've had plenty of time here to save enough fuel if they were needing it. So pit stops maybe not going to be a factor here. As a couple of Camaros are out in front here, followed by the Mustang, and then another Camaro. The green flag is out. Can Drew Austin get back on the lead lap to gain some positions? Or will the big one strike and he'll still gain positions? Let's see, he's going to try and fall in behind. Once again, those guys in the back seem to not be able to get going at the same speed as these guys. Uh, Toby Jason's car might be suffering from the rollover there. He's a little bit slower. Here's the battle for second. Oh, wow, Joe Davis just put Dylan Young up in the wall. So they were almost four wide, and we almost had a wreck going into turn number three. It's now Gordon Fan once again up in the front, and Dil uh, Drew Austin trying to get his lap back. Here comes Gordon Fan, 10 to go. So Gornfan does not have to pass this lap car. He's going to try as here comes Brad Johnson. 
He's going to get the hole filled up by Makoto Aguchi. We haven't talked about her pretty much all race long, but here she is up in the front when it matters. Zach Buchanan we've talked about a little bit today. James Qualls. Toby Jason. I guess I was wrong about the rollover affecting that car. Here comes Zach now for second in the Furby the Love Bug Mustang. <clears throat> James Qualls and Joanna coming up to the front underneath Zach Buchanan. We're now down to it here at Daytona. Toby Jason wants to get up underneath James Qualls here and try and chase down Gordon Fan. He's got Theo Stiegel and Kyle Thomas underneath him. And here comes the truck winner, Bob Johansson, up to the front. He's up here when it matters most. No move that time from Jason, but now Johansson got put up into the middle and Theo Stiegel got put up on the outside. So it looks like the truck winner is not going to go two for two here today. Meanwhile, James Qualls is right there on Gorn Fan's rear bumper. Kyle Thomas underneath Toby Jason. Does James Qualls have enough car here to get on by Gorn Fan? Or is he trying to lag back to get a run? It doesn't matter. Here comes Kyle Thomas and Jeff James to the inside. Seven laps to go from Daytona. Feel it's a good time to say the PlayStation 400 presented by Drive Club from Boston is the next race for these guys. They'll be running with the truck series while the cup will go to Rockingham. Here comes Jeff James inside for second. Chris Washer and Samuel Logo up here in the front. Tom Shelley's making his first appearance. Looks like a couple of guys towards the back, maybe a little bit off the pace. Here comes Jeff. Nope, Chris Washer underneath six to go. Does anyone have anything for Gordon Fan here today? Car 19, the one that no one seemed to want want for the signups. One of the last cars to go or to find a driver. Here comes Warren Cherry. Toby Jason in the wall. Five to go from Daytona. One cherry to lead. Now does Jake Cole or Tom Gerard have anything for him? Here comes Gerard. He's inside of Jake Cole. There's three wide as they come down the back straight away. Warren Cherry's going to be able to close the door on Ch on Gerard. Ugh. That's a mouthful. Gerard stays behind. So does Dylan Young and Jose Navarro. The top four breaking away a little bit. Gerard right to the back bumper of that 89 car. Brent Patterson's up here now. Well, Patterson got actually put up to the high side. It's now Jake Davis into fifth. These guys just waiting to make their move right now. If you're Jose Navarro, though, you got to make it sooner rather than later. He's underneath Dylan Young. Is it going to do anything? No, no help, though, for Jose. Now he's got some help. It's Jake Davis behind him. The field will see three to go at the stripe. Jake Davis underneath Jose Navarro with help from Kenny Bale. 
three laps to go. A caution would end the race. Who's got the right position? Who's got the right timing for this move? Does Tom even have enough card to pass the 89? Here comes Dylan Young's teammate up to the front. The other Hellman's car, TJ Williams in the 88. Here comes Dylan Young inside of Tom Gerard for second. Kenny Bales up here. TJ Williams. Here comes Kenny Bale as Warren Cherry will see two to go at the stripe. TJ Williamson inside now for second. Here comes Jose Navarro. Makoto Aguchi up in the front. John McNamara. Some folks we haven't talked about all day choosing the right time to come up to the front. Aguchi underneath Navarro for third. Williams to the back bumper of Cherry. Will they two-car draft to get away from them and make it a two-car battle for the race lead? White flag is out. One left to go. We have another pair. It's Aguchi and McNamara. McNamara inside of Aguchi. Does Williams have enough car to maybe make a move on the back straightaway and hold off McNamara? He looks content to stay inside right now. No move from Williams. Who's going to win the first race of the Hooters Nationwide Series? I'm sorry, I don't know if I got the finish, but if not, here are the results. Warren Cherry, TJ Williams, Kyle Sosnowski, Bob Johansson, PJ Williams, Kyle Austin, Zach Buchanan, John McNamara, Theo Stiegel, Andrea Erickson, Kyle Thomas, Jeffrey Bucca, Maria Kulaya, Gorn Fan, Makoto Aguchi, Tom Gerard, Brad Johnson, Jake Cole, Joe Davis, or Jake Davis, Tom Shelley, Kenny Bale, Dylan Young, Jose Navarro, Henry or James Henry, Trevor Meacham, William Duncan, Joe Davis, Amanda Shelley, Bram Patterson, Chris Washer, and the Gorgo -Go Homers joining Preston Vale, Austin Ogo, Toby Jason, James Shelley, Jeff James, James Qualls, Charles Sanford, Daniel Day, Dustin Griffith, Samuel Ogo, Angel Navarro, Drew Austin, Elijah Workman. In case I did not get the finish, uh, let's see. Oh. Here is the final lap. So there you go. I will now export the results, and I hope I actually got a little bit of that finish because it was awesome the last couple laps. In Gorn Fan 291, we'll, I'll see you tomorrow for the Daytona 500. We'll actually take you to Victory Lane next race for the Hooters Nation Series, the PlayStation 400, presented by Drive Club from Boston International Speedway.